Hello and welcome to Oil Asset of the Day for the 15th of October presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know for this week on oil? Well, last week, especially towards the end of the week, we did see a fairly sizable move higher for oil prices, breaking out over 2% to the upside, in fact, on Friday after we saw another attack on a tanker in the Middle East, which again raised the geopolitical risk in the market and we saw oil prices immediately catch a bid. Not only that, we had the positive sentiment between the US and China striking a partial deal on Friday, which again lifted oil prices right into the close. And all of this has provided a bit of a rebound and bounce from that zone that we mentioned last week. Look for that evidence of buying coming back in around the 52 to 51 US dollar per barrel level. In fact, many of you actually capitalized on that commenting on our previous videos that we discussed this in detail last week that we were expecting a rotation back towards the lower end of those sweet spots, the triple low for oil, where 51 to $52 per barrel has provided a lot of support in the past. And of course, oil prices springboarded over 300 points to the upside from those levels. So first of all, well done to everybody who capitalized on that move with oil. This week, we have a very similar situation. Again, we've got oil prices selling off at the beginning of the week, tapping 52 to 53 US dollars per barrel. The same really applies. We are looking for buying evidence around the lower end of these ranges for this week. In fact, I am looking for a rotation back towards 55 to 56 US dollars per barrel later on this week. We're expecting a drawdown on inventories again for this week. Bear in mind that the API data is due out one day later this week due to the bank holiday in the US on Monday. And we also have the oil inventories, which instead of being out on Wednesday is going to be out on Thursday instead. So of course, the oil inventories is a major news item you want to pay a lot of attention not only to the headline number but also to the distillates and the gasoline inventories too these can have a very significant impact on oil prices particularly if there's a drawdown that can of course springboard oil prices higher we're waiting on more updates later on this week and as we certainly go into the end of the month as well with respect to the narratives out of the us and china we've got a partial deal in place at the moment nothing has been signed though and this has created a little bit of vulnerability to oil prices at the beginning Beginning of the week where the sentiment positive sentiment that we saw over Thursday and Friday started to dissipate a little bit but again we're getting back to that sweet spot at the lower end of these ranges again with oil prices now it's been interesting with hedge fund data in the latest week so essentially last week we did see another reduction in the overall net long positions in crude oil and this is actually the lowest point that we've seen with respect to net longs all year from hedge funds however that data, of course, is only relevant up until last Tuesday's close. And as such, we saw the breakout and the rebound later in the week over Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday in particular. And we have very much got this geopolitical risk in the Middle East. And if that flares up again, this is where oil prices can very quickly get a bid to the upside. So again, at the end of this week, on Friday, when the data is released, I'm watching out to see whether hedge funds and money managers, and I suspect they have done this as they did with gold the previous week, I suspect they've bought in on this recent dip where we've had another tap right back towards that 51 US dollar per barrel last week. And we saw that big breakout to the upside at the end of the week. We're anticipating that hedge funds have started to build their positions right at the lower end of these ranges. So for this week, what are we looking at again? looking at buying evidence at the current levels between 52 to 53 US dollars per barrel. If we start to see that build up momentum here on the lower time frames, we are looking for a revisit back towards 55 and then ultimately back towards 56 to 57 US dollars per barrel. Those are really the ranges we're keeping a very close eye on over the course this week. Go higher time frame on oil. You'll see what I'm talking about with respect to the support that has come in in the latest week. And normally from a cycle point of view as well, between now and the end of the month, oil does tend to outperform to the upside. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day. And of course, I wish you good trading.